there's been more curve brush functionality added. So I'm going to go to my stroke menu here. If you double click these little arrows over here, you can throw up a divider and then go into stroke, grab that white dot and throw it over here. And you're going to see underneath this menu, we're going to have curve, curve functions and curve modifiers. What we're going to be looking at here is this elastic and liquid options here. If you want to know more about curve brush and curve brush functionality, go to my YouTube channel, do a search for curve brush or go into the ZBrush Ferrari What's New or the intro to ZBrush series and I'll walk you through this the intricacies of those func that functionality. But just a real general overview, if you go to BI for brush insert and go to the, one of these IMM curve brushes, you can select a new curve brush from here or you can hit the M key and you can drag out, for example, we'll go ahead and grab this necklace link and then we can drag out a curve. Now, now that we've dragged out a curve, if you hover over the curve, you're gonna see the cursor turns blue. So you can grab and you can manipulate these points here if you go away from the curve, your cursor turns red, and now you can adjust the size of this curve and just go ahead and tap to update these curves. And at any point, any brush that has a curve mode turned on, which is all of these brushes have curve mode turned on, you can go ahead and swap it out. So if you want to go from a necklace to a bracelet, you can do that, or even something like a hose, or you can even go into a completely different object. If you go to brush, BI, let's go over here to army curve, and we'll change this to like a bike chain. And now we have a bike chain curve that we can now update. So no matter what curves are on your object, you can go ahead and change this curve out. So let's go ahead and turn off polyframe here. If I want to extend this curve, I can just go to where it, that little red rubber band snaps on. Where that is, is the stroke curve snap distance is allowing me to snap back to this curve. And then I can just continue this curve out and extend it. I can also do lock start and lock end. So as I'm manipulating this curve, I can pull on this curve here and it's going to go ahead and lock these endpoints for me. Now, if we undo lock start and lock end, just turn those off. If you turn on elastic and you start pulling on the curve, you're gonna see our start and end points don't change, but we're able to add geometry here. But if you grab the end points here and pull back, you can actually start decreasing the overall length of the curve. So you can increase the length of the curve here, and you can see it's kind of pulling out to a straighter line. So elastic is pretty good for straight lines here. If we change that over to liquid, we can pull out and it kind of gives us a curvier line here, but it's the, still the same functionality applies. You can just go and drag backwards along here and you can just start deleting this curve. Then you can pull back out and add to the curve and then pull through here and add to the curve as well. And again, go back through here and you can just start deleting this curve. Now, previous functionality, if you hover over this area and you have the blue uh, icon here, Again, this is just to manipulate your curve. If you tap S to go into your brush size here and make this bigger while the icon's blue, you're not gonna change your brush size, you're changing your manipulator size so you can manipulate bigger areas of this. Now what you can do is when you start manipulating this and then you hold down control, you can actually start twisting along this axis here. So again, you can make your brush size very large and then twist large areas or make your brush size very small and then twist in very small areas. You can also smooth this curve. One way to do it is if you go over here to the curve functions, you're going to see there's a smooth button. If you hover over that, you're going to see the hot key for that is six. So you can either hit this smooth curve or you can hit the six key and you're going to see it smooth that curve out. If you want to see this update, all you can do is tap on the curve and it'll go ahead and update to that new smooth curve. And now what you can do is, when, again, when you hover over this curve and then you tap on it and then you hold down shift, you can actually start smoothing the curve on the fly. So if you have a very bendy curve, let's go ahead and just start dragging off another curve here and we'll just replace that one. Very bendy curve, hold down shift, and then you can very quickly smooth this curve out to even a straight line. Now you can go over here and you can turn on as line. So when you drag out one of these, it'll go ahead and just drag out as a straight line here. But like I said before, if you do have a bendier curve in here and you wanna straighten it out, the ability to come in here and hold down shift to smooth is a pretty useful feature. Now the reason it's going a little crazy in here is because we have snap turned on. If you turn that off, now it's not going to snap to the underlying objects and it'll behave a little bit more predictably.